Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. In this lesson, we'll find out the unknown angles in this four-sided figure. Okay, this quadrilateral P Q R S. Okay, and this quadrilateral, this four-sided figure is actually a trapezium. We can say so because there is one pair of lines that's parallel to each other. Okay, so this side P Q is parallel to this side SR, which is indicated by these single arrows. Okay, there's one arrow on the side PQ and one on the side SR, and these tell us that PQ is parallel to SR. And we know that in any trapezium, there is one pair of lines that's parallel, okay, at least one. Okay, so this is a trapezium PQRS in which PQ is parallel to SR. Okay, and what we have to do is find the unknown marked angles. Okay, there are three angles that are marked P, S, and R. And out of those, we know what S is equal to. It's equal to 62 degrees. And what we have to find out is the value of the other two. Okay, so we have to find out what P is equal to and what R is equal to. All right, so let's get started. Let's see. If PQ is parallel to SR, then Angle P plus angle S must be equal to 180 degrees, right? We know that because the sum of angles between a pair of parallel lines is equal to 180 degrees. So angle P plus angle S is equal to 180 degrees, right? So angle P is therefore equal to 180 degrees minus 62 degrees, right? 62 because angle S is equal to 62 degrees. It's given to us, right? So then angle P is equal to what? So quite simple, angle P is equal to, let's see what, 118 degrees, right? So angle P is equal to 118 degrees. That was simple, wasn't it? All right, so that's done. Now how about R? Well, R seems a little tricky. Let's see, there is one other angle over here which is Q and we know that angle Q plus angle R is equal to 180 degrees right because PQ and SR are parallel to each other so angle Q plus angle R must also be equal to 180 degrees right the sum of angles between two parallel lines is 180 degrees so P plus S is 180 and Q plus R is also 180 but we don't know what Q is equal to. Well, let's see. Is there a way to find out what Q is equal to? Uh, no, I don't think so. With the information that we've got here, I don't think we can find out what Q is equal to. So then we can't find out what R is equal to either. So I guess uh, we cannot find with the information that we have what the value of R could be. So if such a question comes on your test, you simply write down that with the data that's available to you, you cannot find out what the value of R is. Okay, you have insufficient data here. All right, so I guess uh, we cannot find out what R is equal to, but maybe this was supposed to be a trick question. Well, I guess that uh, will be the end of it. That's all I want to talk about in this lesson. I hope you understood it. Now, as usual, go to www.homecampus.com.sg to solve similar problems. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.